Hey, JP here. On our high altitude balloon flights, we spend most of the time looking down. The Earth is gorgeous from above the atmosphere. But if you look up, you see the balloon. And the balloon can be pretty interesting too. It is our rocket engine. It's the thing that hauls up the cargo and carries us to the edge of space. This video was shot from a camera on the top of the vehicle pointed straight up at the balloon. The thing to notice is just how small the balloon is at launch as compared to just how gigantic it is when it's at 100,000 feet. Just like when your Doritos bag puffs up when you take it to the mountains, the balloon gets bigger as you climb. When you fill a balloon, the gas on the inside pushes out. The air on the outside pushes back so the balloon stays the same size. When the balloon goes up, there's less pressure squeezing in on it, so the gas inside starts winning that contest, pushing out more and more, making the balloon get bigger. This can only go on so long. When the balloon can't stretch anymore, it pops. On this flight, we started out with 420 cubic feet of helium, as measured from the tank. It expands a little more than that when we put it in the balloon because our launch site is at 4,000 feet. At 100,000 feet, the balloon had a volume of 140,000 cubic feet. And this is because of the pretty extreme pressure drop as we climbed to the edge of space. No gremlins added helium on the way up. The balloon takes about 120 minutes to reach peak altitude, and it takes another 20 minutes or so to come back down. We've sped up the flight by 1,500%, but we slowed it down for the good bits like the launch, balloon burst, and landing. Before we start, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Okay, two minutes to 100,000 feet. Hang on. The vehicle is yours. Ready? Go!
from the Away 81 mission. This is the sign from the vehicle to show that we really did get it back. Here it is on the way up. It landed 80 miles away on the side of a mountain. It took the team three days to recover it. Here's another time-lapse video. This time, it's the inflation of our Ascender 9 airship. Check it out. Until next time, this is JP. Thank you for watching.